Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a responsive accordion slider in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. Now you can call this page whatever you want. And also you can add this design to an existing page. All right, so let's go ahead, let's go ahead and add the name of the page. So we're just going to call this accordion. In fact, I need to be able to spell it correctly. All right, so let's go ahead and click on use Divi Builder. So in this example, I'm going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to click here on start building. Next, we're going to go for a single column. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And uh, before we add any modules, I wanna uh, first start by uh, adding a few settings to my column settings. So what I wanna do now is to go into my column settings, my row settings, sorry. Click here on design and first of all, go to the sizing. We want to um, activate, uh, use custom gutter width and we need to set this to one. By doing that, we don't have any spaces on the sides because the gutter width controls space between the columns. Next, over here on our width, we're gonna set this to 100%, and then the maximum width here is going to be 800 pixels. Now for this design, we want to have a specific height, so let's go ahead and do that. So over here on the height, we're gonna set this to 400 pixels, and then we need to go to the column settings. Now we're going to use a bit of CSS code here, and it's very important that you go to the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below and copy that code from there. So here on the advanced tab, I'm going to go to custom CSS and in the main element, I'm going to paste this CSS code. Now for this to look great on all devices, we also need to go into our mobile views. So in the tablet, I am going to paste this code here slightly different and pretty much that's all we need to do here. And let's switch back over here to, to our desktop. Next, let's save this and we are now going to start by adding a blurb module. So I'm gonna search for my blurb and select it. So we just need to, we just need to give this a few uh, titles. So I'm gonna say here, baking is fine. Or let's call it baking is fun. Okay, now over here, we also need to add our text. So I'm going to use some lorem dummy text here and just paste it. But of course you can use whatever text you want for that. Next, here we can see we have an image here by default. We need an icon. So let's go ahead and click here and activate use icon. So the icon we're going to use here is this one, which pretty much just shows the expansion. So we're going to go with that one. Now, while we're here, we also need to add the icon that shows up on hover. So I'm going to go ahead and click this arrow that's pointing up. And for this, I'm going to add a check mark. So let's go ahead and add that. So that's what's going to show on hover. So you can see here the two modes. This one here is for the desktop. This one here is for the hover state. So the next stage now is to add a background image. So I'm going to come over here to background and click on the third tab. Click on the plus button. So here we need to add our image here for the background and the size ideally is a thousand by 973 pixels. Now, if you want to follow this step by step, what you could do is you can go to the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below, and then you can download the layout. And once you install it, it's going to include all these images that we are going to be using. However, if you want to uh, say, for example, use your own images, you just have to match the sizes here. Pretty much you're going to get the same result, but of course your site is going to be of a different style. All right, so moving on, I've just added my image there. Next, we're going to uh, make sure that we upload the image. Now over here on the center, let's center it left. So I'm just gonna choose center left. Now we also need to add a style here on hover. So to do that, we're gonna click here on this icon and making sure you've hover selected. I'm gonna click the second tab and add a gradient over here. Click my uh, first color and paste it in place. Next, I am going to add my second color and the second color here is gonna have full transparency. So I'm just gonna click here and just drag this down a little bit and then I'm just going to paste my values between the brackets. And also, if you want to use the exact same values as I'm using, you can follow the link which I'll add to in the show notes below. All right, so the next stage now is to add our gradient direction and we're going to set this to 90%. 
And then we want to place this gradient above the image. Because right now, as you can see, you can't see the gradient. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to activate this. And now you can see that on hover, this is what's going to show. All right. So now that we have this all set, let's go to the icon and uh, play around with the colors. So I'm going to go to my design tab. But before I do that, I just want to make sure that I'm back on my normal view, not on the hover view. So I'm going to go now to the design and I'm going to go to my icon color. And for the icon here, I'm going to set this to white. There we go. So that's my icon color and then my image icon placement. So right now it is on the top. So let's now set this to the left. And I can see it's right there on the left. It's great. Now let's start stylizing our text. So let's start here with our heading text. So it's set to default. So we need um, pop-ins for this. This is my uh, favorite font, by the way. Right, so I've added my font and uh, let's set it to semi-bold. And then we are going to add transparent here to my text color. But on hover, we are going to set this to white. So make sure you click on this arrow here. And then on hover, let's set this color to white. So I'm going to go here to my recent uh, used colors. And there we go. So now you can read it much easier. So our body text, uh, text here as well needs to be white. So I'm going to come over here and choose a recent color and select white. So now that makes it much easier to read on that background. So moving on, let's add a height and box shadow. So. To do that, we're going to come over, over here to sizing and we're going to set our height to 100%. Now let's go to our box shadow. So I'm going to come over here to box shadow and the style we're going to go with is this one here. And all we have to do is to add our box shadow horizontal position. So let's look for that. So here, box shadow horizontal position, we're going to set this to minus 12 pixels. And for the vertical position, we're going to set this to zero. Now this blurb also needs custom settings. So I'm going to come over here to advanced and then I'm going to come over here to custom CSS and this CSS needs to go on the main element. So I'm just going to add it here. All right. So now that we've added our CSS, the next stage now is to just come over here to our visibility because we need to set our overflow. So let's start here by going to our horizontal overflow. So this needs to be set to hidden. And we also need to do the same on the vertical overflow. So set this to hidden and the transition needs to be set to 400. And finally, the curve here needs to be set to linear. Great. So now that we have all this set, we can now go in and duplicate the blurbs for more accordion panels. So once you've duplicated the blurb modules, all you have to do is to go in and change the images. So to change the images, you just go in here and then you want to go to your background and then this is where you change your image. So once you've added all your images, this is what it should look like. So I'm just going to hit publish here and then we're going to do a quick preview. Once this is saved, I'm going to exit the visual builder. And now when I mouse over this, you can see our gradient here is working and also the tick is coming on when I hover over any of these. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.